evening, kids. Um, so <laughs> I'm sorry for the rather undone uh, appearance. I know I look like shit. I kind of don't really care right now. I had to make a video on this. I had to uh, offer my commentary on this because what the actual fuck is this shit is my question. I'm just completely and utterly disgusted at my country right now and I'm completely and utterly disgusted with the bullshit that passes for um, the judicial system in this country right now. Like, I'm, I'm just, you know, as if this administration didn't piss me off enough now we've got this shit happening and I'm, I'm gonna, you know, article link below, you know me. Um, but this is like some severe bullshit right here. So apparently the Supreme Court has decided that to decline considering the case of a South Dakota man um, for killing a man, I, I, I'm sorry, the Supreme Court has decided to not intervene in the death penalty case of a man who was convicted of killing someone. And the reason he was sentenced to death is because he's gay. That's it. That There's like no mitigating circumstances that would denote a, a death sentence. They are literally killing him. The jury decided to kill him, to put him to death because he's gay. This is a, um, this is an article from New York Times. You know, again, link below. You know me. Um, on Monday, the Supreme Court announced it would not stop South Dakota from killing a man who may have been sentenced to death because he's gay. Some of the jurors who imposed the death penalty on Charles Rhines who was convicted of murder, have said they thought that the alternative, a life sentence served in a men's prison, was something he would enjoy as a gay man. Do you dumb, hick motherfuckers understand how gayness works? Do you understand that <laughs> you can't just walk up to somebody in a prison and fuck them? Because you're gay and they may not be, but they'll take the fucking, the sex because there's no other, like, how the fuck are you expecting this shit to play out is my question. During deliberations, the jury had often discussed the fact that Mr. Rhines was gay and there was a lot of disgust. Uh, one juror recalled in an interview, according to the court petition, another said that jurors said he was gay and thought that he shouldn't be able to spend his life with men in prison. A third recounted hearing that if the jury did not sentence Mr. Rhines to death, if he's gay, we'd be sending him where he wants to go. Yes, I'm sure that's exactly where he wants to go. He wants to be in prison with a bunch of gay, with a bunch of non-gay men. And do you guys understand that in prison, it's actually really dangerous to be gay? Do you get that? Do you understand that to be gay in prison is almost as bad as being convicted of a crime against a child? You're going to get the shit kicked out of you constantly because you're gay. <laughs> I am, and SCOTUS refuses to hear this case. SCOTUS refuses to talk about it to, do you realize, Supreme Court, that this is tantamount to a hate crime? This is state-sanctioned hate crime is what this is. And you're fucking allowing it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I am so thoroughly disgusted at our justice system right now. Like, I have not been this disgusted in a long motherfucking time. <sighs> what the fuck was the judge thinking allowing this? The judge should have instructed the jurors before sentencing. <clears throat> 
to, to tell them, you know, do not allow his sexual orientation to play a role in this. That way, oh my God. Like, my brain is seriously fucking paralyzed at this right now. How is there not more of an outcry about this? Like, what? SCOTUS, you fucked up. You are infringing on the civil liberties, on the civil rights of a United States citizen right now. By not hearing this case and not reversing this decision, you are yourselves committing a hate crime. You are sanctioning the commission of a hate crime by a state government. What, you think that because now you're letting them get married, you can just throw everything else out the window? Like, well, what? What the fuck? Why are they complaining? They can get married now and we can kill them all we want. What in the actual fuck is going on up there in North Dakota? South Dakota? I don't fucking know. There is something wrong with y'all. And you know, the shittiest part about this is that I actually have absolutely no idea what recourse there is for Mr. Rhines at all right now. Like I have no clue. I'm sure that I could look it up. It's fucking midnight. I'm not about to do that right now. I'll probably look it up in the morning. But y'all need to read this article. Start, start looking into this because clearly it's only going to be a public outcry that is going to fix this. So link below. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you soon.